Hello everyone, welcome to Wati. In this video today, I'm going to teach you how you can easily build a CRM on Google Spreadsheet, how you can make an interactive chatbot with your client just with button without your client needing to type any single word to you, and also how you can automatically send message to your client via the Google Spreadsheet. So in this video, we will cover all different parts and please follow closely we will guide you step by step on creating this kind of chatbot with activities and also automatic notification to send to your customer. Let's get started. So first of all, before we get started on how we can make this kind of chatbot, I would like to show you what your client will see from their end. So once your client is interactive with the Wadi chatbot, as you can see, uh, first of all, you can send message to them with button and they can easily click on the button to reply you and also with a list menu as well, so you can guide them for different um, uh, functions or services they are looking for. So all this can be easily built in Wati backend without writing any single line of code. And you can make use of Google Spreadsheet as well to collect the data from your client. So first of all, let's get started on how we can drive the lead your client to WhatsApp first. As you go to the Wati website, you will see that we have a WhatsApp chat button here. So your client can easily click here to start a chat with you. And right here, they will be asked to open WhatsApp. And here you will have a previewed sentence here. There are two different ways that you can drive your client. Uh, first of all, with the WhatsApp chat button here, scroll all the way down the Wadi website, you will see WhatsApp chat button. And you can easily create your chat button here and most importantly, for the welcome text, you should um, use the keyword that later on you would like to use to trigger the flow, the chatbot flow that you would like to use. So here, um, in all this video, we are going to use one single keyword called price. That will be related to our use case later for your client, whoever who brought your product or service, based on their receipt number, they can enroll to a price lottery for the, uh, for the ultimate price um, um, uh, uh, later on. So um, let's use this one throughout our demo today. And apart from the chat button here, maybe you would like to put your WhatsApp link somewhere else on Instagram, Facebook, or anywhere else advertisement, or even like you know, to make a QR code for driving other clients from your physical product, like, you know, on the product itself or the flyers, uh, brochure, etc., for them to scan to WhatsApp. So I will teach you this way as well. First of all, you can follow this format that is, uh, you know, from Facebook, from WhatsApp, and you can easily make a chat um, uh, link to redirect them. The format is pretty simple, wa.me slash your number, and the text equal to the text that you would like to use. So we will copy and paste this one. And let's try with, uh, you can go to the QR code generator as well. So first of all, put the link here and go to your Wati account for your number. Okay, then we will replace this number and the text will be price as we mentioned. So easily you already have your WhatsApp link that you can try right here. And you will have the previewed message and you can also have this to QR code for your client to scan on in order to redirect them to WhatsApp. Amazing, so we are all set here. We can now start to go to our Wati platform to see how we can build the interactive chatbot with client and also collect their data with Google Spreadsheet. So now we are on the Wati platform. First of all, um, there are a few things that we will need to do before we start building the chatbot. We should go to automation and we should first build a flow and then later on select the keyword to redirect them to the flow. As I mentioned, for the keyword wise, you should use the same keyword that we use throughout this, um, uh, for example, the price here. And then you can easily set the keyword and you can add anyone that um, you would like to here, any language, any um, uh, keyword that you would like to use. Then next step, you can choose what to reply to your client. And you can choose the flow that we have created already. Then after they have cho uh, chosen the flow, uh, they can easily use the, uh, uh, the flow and enroll in the, in the lottery, uh, price lottery that we are organizing. 
So here um, I've made one that is called a webinar demo. That is our, our flow. I'm going to show you how you can easily build that in the flow session. So let's say here, I have started the flow. And here I have a set of questions. So let's take a look. Um, uh, for this event, what I want to build is for whoever client that brought our product or service, they will have a receipt number. So they can use this receipt number, get back to us and enroll in our lottery to get a final price. So let's take, take this for example uh, as a promotional activity. So first of all, I will have a few questions. Once they enroll, like, you know, have that preferred, preferred keyword of price, they will be uh, uh, coming to this row. First of all, uh, we will ask, okay, thank you for your purchase. Um, this is like a one minute survey for them to complete to, to get enrolled it. So you can easily use the Wati tools here to build an interactive chatbot like what I have shown you just now with the button and also list message. And where to find it, that is super easy. In the orange, ask the questions here. There are three types of questions that you can ask in Wati uh, to build a chatbot. So question, basically, this is like an open-ended question that you, your client will need to type the answer. Secondly, for the button, that you can add up to three buttons here that they can directly click on. And thirdly, will be the list is like a compressed menu, uh, a list that can be expandable on the WhatsApp uh, interface. Okay. So I guess we have a basic idea of the button send a message. And later on, we have all these um, operations here that you can uh, work with um, to build a more advanced chatbot. And lastly, what we will use today for the integration will be the Google spreadsheet. Let's get started of the question. Here, I have built a set of questions in the flow for the client to answer. After they have uh, coming into this flow, we will ask them if they are a member, um, input their receipt number in order to um, enroll in this lottery and what product they have brought and of course you know uh, some uh, quick feedback uh, to ask them okay one to ten what is the rating and also anything they would like to uh, respond uh, 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 as a comment and we will link all the answer to a Google spreadsheet so just for you to take a look once there is any client answer here and uh, what you can collect is the timestamp they have answered um, the name of the client, the phone number, and all the answers that they have input here. Okay, so uh, the way to build it, first of all, you think of all the questions that you will need. And in the message itself, and sorry, in the question itself, you can type all the different options. And remember, one of the most important thing is to save the answer in a variable. That means you save the answer and you collect what the client answered to you and you can input it, insert it to the Google spreadsheet, which later on I will show you um, in the demo as well. And after you have set all the question and save the answer as a variable, you can go to this Google spreadsheet. So I've linked with my account. You can link with any Google account that you have and choose a spreadsheet. Same as this one is called price winner and it's like sheet one here. Okay. Uh, price winner sheet one and insert a new role for all the new answer so you can have like you new know, different ones as i've shown you before name phone number uh, member receipt number um, product rate and comment so all this will be following uh, whatever the client answered and insert to a google spreadsheet so it's how you can easily collect all the data from your client. Of course, like, you know, there are many other different use cases, for example, um, like a registration form, uh, webinar registration, uh, pre-order, uh, restaurant, hotel booking, etc. So all this, it works like a questionnaire and your client can easily answer all the questions on WhatsApp. And for you, you can have a really clear and structured um, database of all the answers from your client on WhatsApp. So that will be a really easy to use um, um, CRM or data collection tool for you and your team to collect the, um, the feedback from client. Okay, so after the Google spreadsheet, of course, I, if it's successful, you can see that, okay, um, yeah, they can stay tuned it and then you know, see um, um, uh, the result later on on our website and close the chat here by using this function to update the chat status 
or if it's not successful let's say there are some issues with the spreadsheet or they haven't complete everything so you can have a, a, a error message to your client to inform that it is not successful you are not enrolled successfully and you can assign it to the agent let's say I assign to Crystal okay so uh, Crystal as a human agent will handle this chat or question from client okay so we are all set here we can save the flow and what will we do later on is that um, I will use my phone to enroll in this um, uh, lottery flow and you will be able to see uh, in the teaming box uh, with the client feedback okay so let's go to the teaming box first of all I would like to show you um, by using my phone and I will type the keyword directly called price that will trigger the flow that we have set just now in automation so I put price here and at the same time you will be able to see it here and the answer by the chat board and my member I will type yes here and for the receipt number let's do um, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 okay and next question which product if I uh, uh, have brought I will take the teaming box for example and 1 to 10 is the rating, I will give a 10 and what is the experience I will put not available so all these ones I have completed in the Wati platform uh, you see that I have uh, received this one and the chat will be closed so we can go to the spreadsheet here with the answer if you remember um, teaming box the number will be 0001 and a new entry will be appeared here with exactly what all my answer with our Wati demo phone, receipt number, inbox, comment, etc. So this is how you can easily collect the answer from your client on WhatsApp to a Google spreadsheet and everything will be well organized here. And for the next step, here is the exciting part that I would like to show you how you can easily make use of the Google spreadsheet as your CRM and send WhatsApp message from here with our Wati extension. So for the extension part, we have another video to guide you step by step on how to install it. You simply need to um, click here extension and get the add-on of Wati uh, extension. For now, I would like to show you if you would like to schedule a message uh, for your client, how you can easily do it. So um, first and very foremost, let's say uh, uh, continuing our scenario. If our clients have already run the price, let's say I would choose um, what we have done just now, this client to be the price winner. Then of course we want to inform them in some way that they are the winner of this um, lottery. We can easily start with the extension to schedule a message for our client. So let's say click here. We will need to link it to our Wati account as well. So um, first of all, they ask for um, select the phone number. Okay, then we will click on this one. And you will say that, okay, I'm a live user. If you have a live Wati account, then where to find the endpoint? You can go to the Wati platform, API dots, and you can easily copy the endpoint here. Um, here, place it. And the API key, same piece here, access token. And then you can paste here and test it okay so all good we will save it and start sending the message okay so uh, we would like to send to this number so we will click on the number change the number uh, change it to c3 okay then they will validate the number uh, they will check whether this number exists on whatsapp so um, after this we can click next and select a template so where are the templates from uh, you will need to set it on the broadcast first template message so for uh, to prepare for this demo I've already created one message here uh, with a uh, um, price confirmation message to this client so what you can do here you can easily create a new template give it a name category language and you can make a header as a text or media file that you can directly upload from your computer input your body text 
and have the call to action or quick reply button on your message. So once you have submitted, it will take around 30 minutes to 48 hours, which is the WhatsApp SLA, to approve your template. Okay, so um, we'll use this message. Let's get back to the Google spreadsheet. We will choose the template, webinar price. Then you can easily see here. So the name will be this one, uh, B3 for the Wati demo, then we can click next. All good, so you see that they insert the name, the rally, B3, and the phone number will use the C31. And we can send it now, or schedule it to a specific time uh, to inform the client. So let's say if I send it now, you can see the detail here, they will redirect you back to Wati to see the broadcast status. Okay, so you see uh, the WhatsApp add-on here, it is successfully sent, and you can see whether they have read uh, or replied the message. And you can see the status here and filter them as well. So this is how you can schedule the message. And of course, apart from that, you can do a sheet automation as well. So what is the amazing part about sheet automation? Um, for this scenario, uh, that may not be exactly um, uh, the best case, but imagine, uh, let's say if it is like a registration form from your website or account creation, whenever there is a new entry, you may want to send a web message for your client as a new entry. So that case can be, can be used as well, for example, as a confirmation message that um, you have already received uh, this uh, um, enrollment uh, of the lottery. So you can also set the new uh, automation as well. For the uh, sender, you can go for sheet automation and you can set the logic. Whenever there's a new entry or a new update, you can send a certain template message to your client. Everything can be automatically done on the Google spreadsheet uh, whenever there's a new entry as a trigger. So I would like to show you this one as well. When you add a new rule, okay, the name could be, again, we use price for everything, let's say. And then we will go for the trigger choose an event, let's say, as I mentioned, whenever there's a new row added um, on sheet one here, continue. Of course, you can add a condition. So for this time, um, I will not have any condition. Simply, it, it, whenever there's a new row that they will send a message out. So the action will be, uh, we need to set, uh, 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 just choose the same endpoint as well, okay. Then we will go for the range. For example, here it will be C. Okay, the, the column will be C for the WhatsApp number. Oh. And the template name, we can go for webinar price as well. And in this case, uh, it will choose the same uh, template message. Congratulations, blah, blah, blah. The name itself, as you can see, is in row B. So we can go for row B here and save it. In this case, whenever there's a new entry, they will directly send out the message to your client as well. And for this one, it will be really useful for any um, registration use case or any uh, use case that whenever you have a new uh, incoming client, you can send them a WhatsApp message to start engaging them with your Wati number. So I hope you find it useful for your use case. And for um, most of the business, if you don't have uh, like a CRM system, uh, you can make use of Google Spreadsheet, which is a free tool offered by Google. And you can easily use our extension as well, as well as um, the Wati Professional Plan, along with our um, operations and integration with Google Spreadsheet. And in the professional plan, we have already offered all these integration with the S1 uh, chatbot and also Google Spreadsheet. So I hope you enjoyed this video today and you find it useful. Uh, you can easily build these uh, integration with Google Sheets as your CRM and build WhatsApp sending message automation and automated chatbot with interactive button with your client in around 15 to 20 minutes. There's no coding at all, and you can easily get started with just the WhatsApp number as a tool. Thank you so much for your time today, and I hope you enjoyed this video.